developing story a deadly accident in San Francisco this morning a garbage truck struck a bicyclist Crown Force Will Tran is on the scene with the very latest good morning Will Good morning, Doria. This happened shortly before 7 o'clock this morning, and finally at around 8.45, they managed to reopen the traffic between 16th and 17th on Van Ness, and you can see the cars moving through here. I can tell you what happened was, according to investigators, the garbage truck was going from the left to the right of your screen on 16th. He was making a right turn onto Van Ness here. The bicyclist was also moving in the same direction. According to a witness, he was flying really fast. He did not know that the garbage truck was making the right turn. He struck the bicyclist, dragged him a few feet, left the body here, and kept going with the bicycle still underneath the garbage truck all the way to that intersection right there on 17th and that's why this scene was so large for about 90 minutes the bicycle finally ended up there the garbage truck was told by witnesses or people who saw what happened or heard what happened knocked on his uh, door that's when he went around the corner and finally stopped back here at this intersection talked to investigators now here's video that we got while the investigators were still on the scene here's what we know according to the the investigators the the garbage truck driver he had the green light at the time also he's right right now in downtown San Francisco at the police department giving statements to the investigators he will also give up drug uh, excuse me give up uh, blood sample for any drugs or alcohol in his system and that's pretty much standard practice when an accident involves a commercial driver and a pedestrian or in this case a bicyclist according to one of the officers he says it did not appear that the driver was impaired at the time he was shocked by what happened and is fully cooperating with the investigators as far as the victim his name not being released at this time not that according to investigators not that it probably would happen or would have helped but he was not wearing a helmet at the time back to you Darian. all right thanks a lot will mark and a developing story we followed up